there's no love like that of a dog. It doesn't matter how poorly we act or how much we haven't earned it. Our dogs devote themselves to us with unconditional love to a degree that humans could never dream of reaching. So it seems unfair that their lives are so much shorter than ours. Although there is nothing we can do to change the balance of dog versus human years, we can shift our focus from living long to living it up. From quantity of life, quality of life, by doing all we can to be sure our dogs are as healthy as they can be. But some dogs are naturally healthier than others. Check out the following selections for the top 10 healthiest small dog breeds. Number 10. Border Terrier Put it simply, the Border Terrier can be a handful. It is a terrier after all, which means it's energetic, courageous, determined, and when bored, can get into some serious trouble. So it's a good thing it's also a durable breed that is generally pretty healthy. But every breed is predisposed to some kind of health condition. Hip dysplasia, hip dislocation, epilepsy, heart defects, hyperthyroidism, patellar luxation, misaligned leg bones, malocclusion, misaligned jaws, and cryptochidism, undescended testicles are medical issues typical to borders. But in spite of these vulnerabilities, the most significant health risk to the Border Terrier is in fact itself. Border Terriers have to be entertained or they will come up with their own entertainment and it will probably be at your expense and their own. Borders can be highly destructive and can seriously hurt themselves when left unsupervised. They are also prone to obesity, so they require at least a half hour of exercise daily to stay physically and mentally fit and to achieve their average lifespan of 12 to 15 years. Boarders are also notorious escape artists. They were bred that way. If your pup catches the scent of a small animal or is left alone in the yard long enough to get bored, it will burrow under the fence or climb over it in pursuit of prey or adventure. It is essential that your yard is surrounded by well-constructed fencing that goes several feet into the ground to keep your furry friend out of danger. Number nine, Pomeranian. When you look at a Pomeranian, several words come to mind, including fox-like, delicate, and frou-frou. But there is another word that is not so obvious, fit. The mind-body connection in dogs is likely as strong as it is in humans. Because like other dogs on our list, the Pomeranian is an energetic, feisty breed. Its bold, outgoing confidence is indicative of a mental strength that seems to spill over into its physical strength. Serious health issues sometimes experienced by palms include heart disease, epilepsy, hypoglycemia, and tracheal collapse, when the rings that frame the windpipe collapse and close the airway. Allergies, hypochidism, hypothyroidism, and alopecia X, a condition that causes baldness and skin darkening, are chronic conditions that aren't fatal per se, but can negatively impact your furry friend's quality of life. Palms need a moderate amount of exercise to assist them in reaching or exceeding their expected 12 to 16 years of life. One or two 20 minute walks a day and a game of fetch or a short general play session are perfect ways to get your pup's blood flowing and maintain their agility. Number eight, often pincer. The Affenpinzer, or Monkey Terrier, is not actually a true terrier, but is descended from the Brussels Griffin and Miniature Schnauzer. Two sturdy breeds that deserve to be on this list, but we only have space to share ten, sadly. Affens that are well cared for can live an average of 12 to 14 years, or even longer. They are felt to be high-strung and need regular exercise of at least one 30-minute walk a day but two or three 20 minute walks would be ideal. Like terriers, Affins love to dig and have a strong prey drive for rodents. So a strongly constructed, deeply buried fence is a necessity if your Affin pincer will be playing outdoors. Affin pincers should be closely supervised when socializing with other dogs because they can be unaware of their small size in relation to other bigger dogs we will challenge them without thought to their own well-being. 
Usual ailments among Athens include syringomelia, a neurological disease, heart murmurs, hip dysplasia, leg Perth's disease, which is similar to hip dysplasia, and patellar luxation. Number 7. Norfolk Terrier. Although it is one of the two smallest terrier types, and the smallest of the working breeds, at least in physical size, the Norfolk Terrier is typically known as a big dog in a small body. It is playful and absolutely adorable, but it's also fiery, independent, and has a physical toughness that helps keep it safe from serious ailments, a typical trademark of terriers. Like practically all small dogs, Norfolks are prone to chronic health issues such as hip dysplasia and patellar luxation. But the most serious condition impacting them is mitral valve disease. NVD is a condition in which the mitral valve doesn't close the way it should, enabling blood to flow backward into the heart. It begins with a simple heart murmur and can progress to heart failure and eventually ending in death. The average lifespan of a Norfolk is approximately 12 to 15 years. Bear in mind, as with all terriers, it is imperative to protect the Norfolk from itself. When in public, make sure to keep your pup nearby to avoid accidents and injuries, and make sure your fence is well secured. Number 6. Beagle As a scent hound, the beagle follows his nose, and there aren't enough hours in the day to track the seemingly endless number of trails he picks up. This breed is outgoing, curious, and quite honestly, just too darn busy to be sick. So it's no shock to us that this little pup that loves to be in the middle of everything ended up right in the middle of our list. Beagles usually live an average of 12 to 15 years. Most suffer very limited health problems, and the ones they are vulnerable to may impact their quality of life, but are not life-threatening. Epilepsy, hyperthyroidism, disc diseases, ear infections, their long ears block the airflow to the ear canal, and of course hip dysplasia are all manageable conditions. Glaucoma, corneal dystrophy, leakage of fluid into the cornea, cherry eye, a collapse of the gland on the third eyelid, dystachasis, a condition causing eyelashes to grow into the eye, ophthalmolic conditions that beagles are predisposed to. Your floppy-eared friend should have at least an hour of exercise every day. Two 30-minute walks or a mix of walking and playing should be sufficient. Number 5. Havanese It's easy to spoil a Havanese, initially bred in the 1800s to be a lively, outgoing, snuggly companion to the Cuban upper class. This is a breed that loves to be near to their owners, so much so that they have been nicknamed as Velcro dolls. As aristocrats, Havanese certainly receive more than their fair share of pampering, and like to get their way, don't we all? but don't tend to become self-absorbed or tyrannical. Maybe so much attention and coddling is the reason many Havanese live long lives, about 13 to 15 years, and have minimal health issues. Of course, small dog disorders like hip and elbow dysplasia and patellar luxation are more frequently picked up in Havanese than more serious conditions, such as heart murmur, mitral valve insufficiency, and portosystemic shunt, a condition in which blood from the digestive tract circumvents the liver, allowing toxins to be released in other areas of the body. In regards to exercise, Havanese only require 30 minutes of exercise each day. A short walk, a session of tug of war, and a game of fetch are perfect ways to be sure your Havanese gets an appropriate amount of exercise. Don't be shocked if your pup needs a nap after a walk or play session. They are a companion breed after all. So don't expect them to have the energy and stamina of a terrier. Number 4. Miniature Schnauzer The Miniature Schnauzer is outgoing, smart, loyal, headed, and has a cute mustache and beard. And if those qualities aren't enough to capture your heart, it's also one of our top 5 healthiest small dogs. Mini Schnauzers live from 12 to 15 years, but as with all the breeds on our list, it's not uncommon for some to live longer. Since we've mentioned dysplasia and patellar luxation issues in the other breed, we'll just pass over these from here on out and get into the details. 
One of the most severe illnesses that many schnauzers are prone to is congenital megaesophagus, a condition similar to acid reflux in humans that can cause esophageal obstruction or aspiration pneumonia, both of which can end up being fatal. Other health issues seen in many schnauzers are urinary stones, von Willebrand's disease, and myotonia congenital, a condition similar to muscular dystrophy. Your schnauzer requires at least 30 minutes of exercise every day based on its energy level. Most thrive with two walks a day or one walk and another session of high intensity exercise. Frisbee, tug of war, fetch, agility training, and puzzle toys are excellent ways for your favorite bearded companion to work out and keep fit. Number three, Manchester Terrier. It's a good thing the Manchester Terrier is one of our 10 because it is the rarest dog in the mix and the breed is quite literally fighting for its life. Good health is the difference between its extinction and its survival. Manchesters are an extremely tough breed impacted by few medical issues. Glaucoma, heat rash, and von Willebrand's disease are the most serious conditions your Manchester can deal with in its 14 to 16 years. Though it looks like a tiny Doberman, and its sleek frame implies it needs a lot of exercise, your Manchester will only require two or three short walks a day to stay slim. Free play, fetch, and easy outings with the family are social activities that will engage your best friend both physically and mentally. Number two, Shih Tzu. What's beauty without health? No one knows the answer to this question more than a Shih Tzu's owner. Shih Tzus are an adorable but robust breed. They're not prone to serious diseases and conditions, but there are a few illnesses that impact their vitality. Bladder infections and stones, umbilical hernias, portosystemic liver shunts, and a kidney disease called juvenile renal dysplasia are among the most serious diseases that can affect Shih Tzus. Most Shih Tzus live from 10 to 16 years with appropriate diet and exercise. You should bring your pup for two brisk 30-minute walks a day and combine these with free play and mental stimulation. For a lot of small dogs, particularly ones that pull on their leash, like most of the terriers on our list, tracheal collapse is a real concern. For that reason, we suggest you do not attach their leash to their collar. Instead, use a harness that goes around their body. It not only protects your small dog's tiny trachea from collapse, but it helps reduce the pulling on the leash. And now on to number one. Number one, Chihuahua. At the top of our list is the world's smallest breed and arguably the feistiest dog, the Chihuahua. Adjectives like robust, durable, and strong were not used to describe the Chihuahua. Words like tiny and delicate are more likely to be assigned to this breed that is definitely more virile than it appears. For a dog that is commonly carried in a bag or tucked under an arm, the Chihuahua breed as a group experiences very limited serious health problems. Heart murmurs, hypoglycemia, tracheal collapse, and a congenital heart condition called pulmonic stenosis are all possibly fatal illnesses that Chihuahuas may or may not suffer from but are predisposed to. Other conditions, including hydrocephalus, fluid on the brain, open frontal, soft spot in the skull, and the thorn in the side of all small dogs, and one of the conditions which we said we wouldn't share anymore, retular luxation. Shivering is also very typical in chihuahuas, but it is nothing to be stressed about. If your tiny pup is shivering, he or she is likely nervous, excited, or cold. Chihuahuas need 20 to 30 minutes of activity daily, which should include a walk, play sessions, and brain games. Since they get cold easily, you should skip walking outside on cold days and instead go for an indoor activity or have a walk on the treadmill. At 12 to 20 years, Chihuahuas have the longest average lifespan of any breed. With good care, this little dog with a huge personality will be catching rides in your handbag for a long, long time. And that's our video for today. Which of these breeds is your favorite? Share any healthy small dog breeds we missed in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe for more content, and as always, we'll see you next time.